to be a woman in American society. She says words that fall from lips bitter with experience. Women, she says, see violence enacted on other women. Women, she says, are always aware of a constant threat. My ears ring with memories of sweetheart from a man on the bus. I just looked away. If I had responded at all, would he have followed me off at my stop? Of smile from the man on the sidewalk who blocked my path until I did. If I had got around him, would he have followed me, yelling smile? I imagine him screaming, smile, you bitch, and make me happy. We are controlled. We can't go out at night alone. We cannot go there at all, in that skirt. When we are sent home from school to change clothes because our yoga pants distract the boys from their education, we are being told ours doesn't matter. We are fat-shamed, slut-shamed, frigid-shamed, accused of friend-zoning, which blames us for not wanting the one who wants us, for having our own feelings, desires, preferences. We are bullied by other women, online, to our faces, behind our backs. We are told that we ask for it when we dress sexy. We are raped and or murdered when we say no. We have to fight for the rights to control our own bodies, over and over, even once we have them. We are made to feel stupid, worthless, unfeminine, bossy when we stand up for ourselves. We are crazy when men don't want to deal with our anger, even when they are the ones who treated us badly and made us angry. We should just take it and shut up. I fear for my daughter in this world. Her lips are still sweet. They still smile on their own. To be a woman is limiting in movement, in careers, in income, in even our own facial expressions. To be a woman is frightening, dangerous. There are too many words to be used against us.